Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You are very much welcome in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. There is about to be a recognition, a reconnection, a reconnection between you and someone from your past. I say it again. The title of this message says, There is about to be a reconnection between you and someone from your past. I... I'm so particular about this because it's a reconnection that is going to bring about so many realities. So, so many realities are going to come before you. So many realities. And this is a good reconnection, all right? It's not, it's not somebody that is going to come to you for with motives, like negative motives. We all have past and we all have people in our past and it depends on who had been in your past but you must understand one thing there are people who know you and sometimes they're going to get to a stage whereby they will see you somehow they will remember you somehow or there might just be a platform now i had this particular person who um was asking me out for a relationship and he he told me a story. Now, this is not somebody that um, was asking me out as in a newly. This is somebody who had asked me out back then in the universities years back, and then I refused. So later on, he came and he later on explained to me how he got my number and he was a very polite person. At that point, I wasn't that busy like now. I'm extremely busy. You can send me a message and I'll hardly see it on WhatsApp. But I'm mostly active on Gmail and on Messenger. Yeah, I'm mostly active on those two, especially on Gmail. So that's years back. Like I think three, three to four years back, he contacted me and was talking to me about his intentions and his interest in me. So I, I spoke back to him and then he now reminded me, he said, I'd asked you out while we're in the university, then you were still very small. I'd asked you out and, and then, <laughs> and then he said, you were rather preaching to me. You were preaching the gospel to me. And he said at that point, he wasn't really interested in the gospel. Like, come on, I'm asking you out and you're trying to tell me about God. And you know, we laughed and laughed, and he's an amazing person, a fun to be person. So later on, after years after, came back again. And then now what happened? He saw my picture on Facebook. That was what he said. He said he had to meet up with his siblings and while his siblings were scrolling through Facebook, he says he does not know what happened. His eyes just went on her phone and then he saw my picture on Facebook and, and then decided to start coming back, start writing, you know, and all that and all that and all that. All right. Long story short, I never accepted his proposal anyways, but he's an amazing person. Now, why am I saying this? This is somebody who already knew me in the past. Now, God reconnected us. Now, I did not accept him, but sometimes we talk. He has another person in his life, engaged an amazing, beautiful lady, but sometimes he talks to me. Like, he comes to talk to me because of my wisdom and because of my mindset. And sometimes when I'm chance, I respond back and I talk to him. And sometimes I can even call him and talk to him, you know. So, but this is a connection from the past. Forgot, I had forgotten about him, but somehow he got to see me. Now, had it been that I was interested in his proposal and said yes, maybe would have been married by now or maybe would have been planning to get married. 
and planning to get married or settling down by or settle down by now would have meant a reconnection there are people that god have made their partners to come from their past there is somebody who wants to settle down and is looking for a spouse and then remembers you thinks about you starts to reconnect with you sometimes you don't have to be in a haste or in rush to say no to them sometimes you can pray about them sometimes you can think about them and sometimes you can talk to them talk to them and know their mindset i had another lady who was so desperate to get married and then somebody came to her and from her past the person spoke to her she was extremely desperate to get married and this particular person spoke to her but i think that god saved her why because at one point she came to her senses because the man who wanted to marry her was not in support of her serving god the way she was serving god and then she came to her senses and then she was like if i have to marry this particular person it will not do me any good so i'm desperate but i have to not accept it that was how God saved her. She would have married and been in a position in her life whereby we don't even know what would have happened to her today. And this is what a lot of people go through. So people who come to you, the reconnection is going to be a positive reconnection. But you must always learn to have a conversation with them. Have conversations. I'm an observative person. I can be talking with you. I'm reading you and all that. That's me. But I will still smile. I will still be very calm because of wisdom. So there are people you talk to them, know how they're raising their mindsets and everything. I pray that every good reconnection that is coming your way will not be a reconnection of disappointment. It will be a reconnection of appointment, of success, of joy, of blessings. In Jesus' name, amen. If I'm speaking to you and this word is resonating with your spirit, please type it in the comment section, connect yourself, make that confession, say, God, let your will be done in my life. Let your will be done in my marital life. Let it be done. Most of the times, we just have to let the will of God be done. Sometimes we are too in a rush, we are too in haste. And then after that, what next? Let God's will be done. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you in the name of Jesus, amen. Please do not forget to like, do not forget to share, and also do not forget to subscribe. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name, amen. Please always pray for me as the Spirit of the Lord to lead you. Please call my name in the place of your prayer always. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, may the Lord bless you, keep you, cast his face to shine on you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing may seem, nothing broken. I love you so much. I do. I love you. God bless you amazingly and God bless you abundantly. I love you so much. Shalom.